Thank you, and we're back again with the Student Athlete Playbook segment of 100 Yards of Sports. We're still at Mays High School today. Now we have Coach Battle. Yes. Coach Battle, pleasure to be here with you, sir. Glad to <laughs> yes, sir. Now, you know how I do. Coach Brown, Barry Brown, author of the Student Athlete Playbook, Success in the Classroom, Sports and Life. Now, this Mays team, they've been one of the best teams definitely around Metro Atlanta, but also in the state of Georgia, <clears throat> excuse me, state of Georgia these last few years. And now this year they kicked off the season in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Coach Battle, what what was that like taking your young men down there to the big boy, the big boy <laughs> stadium, the, the true Mercedes-Benz of high school football, college football, and professional football? What was that experience like? Well, it's always a blessing to be able to play at the Mercedes-Benz. Last year we had the opportunity to play uh, when we did Dawn coming with the APS team. We was the last team to play as well as we did with Corky Kill this year. So, you know, Corky Kill was a big deal for us. It was, it was the first time in the history of APS that we had an opportunity to play uh, and the team had an opportunity to play in it. So we, we had it this year, then we got re-invited next year. So we'll be playing again next year. So, you know, that was a big, real big deal for the kids. Excellent, excellent. So now – Left Mercedes Benz Stadium, then you played in like I, I I can't call him anything but a local hero. Really, he doesn't play for the Falcons, but he plays for the Carolina Panthers. But he's from South Fulton area, which is right down the road from Southwest Atlanta, the Cam Newton Classic. And y'all played an out of state team. Y'all played a Central out of Phoenix, Alabama. What was that experience like, Coach? Well. First thing, I want to give a shout-out to Mr. Cecil Newton. He put everything together, you know, uh, and it came together beautifully. Uh, the playing the juggernaut team like Central uh, Phoenix, you know, it, it was it was real big for the kids. Uh, even though the score says 42-18, right. that's not indicative of how we played. You know, we, we had about five uh, major plays that we turned over, the, you know, turned over three, and then we had two missed assignments on defense. So, you take away those mistakes, you know, you know, we're in a ball game with, with the number one team, 7 eight in the state of Alabama. So, you know, there's some good things, you know, we got from the game. Also, some bad things that we built upon. So, the good thing is, you know, we've been battle tested. We're probably not going to see a team like that, and, and no disrespect to any team in the state, but we're probably not going to see a team like that till later on in the playoffs. You know, it just I'm just going to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? It's a, they are a, a 150 from 10th to 12th graders and got – Three starters at quarterback, you know, you know, a, a five star, four star, and a three star kid. You know, you're not going to see that in, in the state. So, you know, the good thing is the kids, you know, they, they stood up to battle, and and we're ready to perform now. So, Excellent. now you just you just talked about something we talk about with the student athlete playbook all the time: learning from your mistakes. Now, you took those two lumps, first two games of the season. Then I'm looking at I'm looking at the stats and it's like your next two games, you shut you zero points, ladies and gentlemen, zero points. So they went from having teams score points on them to their next two games scored zero points. Coach, how 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 did how did y'all build upon those losses like you just talked about? And now you've had two wins in a row where the opponent scored zero points on you. Well, I have an excellent our defense and offense coordinator. Our defense coordinator, he um, you know we went to the film, we broke everything down, we looked over our mistakes first. And we found ways to, you know, get players get players on the field. Uh, we had end up moving some kids from linebacker to um, de defensive end, you know. And, and we just had to find that that best gel for the defense. And you know, and not to take anything away from the defense, but the offense performed well. As, you know what I'm saying? And the, the crazy thing is, in both of the games, uh, the first game against Langston Hughes, we left 21 points on the field. And then last week, we left 28 points on the field. Wow. So okay. we're going in the right direction. But once we get it all in all cylinders, we hopefully after this, this open week, when we go into, you know, region, we got six region games after that, hopefully we're going to be, you know, on all pistons and we'll be ready to fire. Sounds mm -hmm. good. So your next game is against Tri-Cities, right? Tri-Cities. Excellent, excellent. So listen, ladies and gentlemen, Coach Battle, head football coach, Mays High School. So one last question, Coach, before we get to some of your players. You're talking about student-athletes. Mays is traditionally known. They've had a great academic base for a long time. What are some of the things, outside of being an athlete, the student side, the character side, how they carry themselves, what are some things you would like to tell our listening audience 
about what you look for in the kid other than their athletic ability? Well, you also, you know, you're, you're a student before you're an athlete. You know, that's an old cliche. But yeah. but the thing is, it's true. Um, what we do, we, we're, we're a partnership with Chick-fil-A and um, Player Smart, and we have a Player Smart coach. And our Player Smart coach is uh, Mr. Harold Beasley. Mr. Harold Beasley is responsible for making sure our kids go to tutorial from Monday through Wednesday. So from after school, from 3.30 to, to 4.45, they're going to be in um, tutorial. Uh, and the good thing about that, as a team average, each year we're between the 82 and the 83. And that's been for the last three years. Wow. And now uh, we have some kids that have gone on to some prestigious university. We had some kids that was on the team, made 31s and 29s and 28s on the ACT. And, you know, we got kids that making 1,100, 1,200 on, on SAT. So the good thing is we do focus on academics because all our players are not going to go to college for, for football. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But we got to make sure that we can do anything that we possibly can education-wise to help them get into school. Had 39 kids to graduate last year, had 38 in, in a college. Wow. Thir 38 out of 39. 20 science scholarships. Coach, that's very impressive, sir. Very impressive. Wow. You heard that? That's from the head coach's mouth. 38 out of 39 young men going to college, 20 of them signing scholarships. Hey, I think y'all doing an excellent job over here. And that's what we stand for with the Student Athlete Playbook and the Student Athlete uh, Achievement Program, Youth Education and Sports. Listen, we're going to come right back with some of the highlights and stars of this Mays High 2018 football team. So stay tuned for the next video segment.